Hi everybody. As some of you picked up, it was my birthday yesterday, so I took the day off. Uh, yes, I'm 35 now, insert age joke here. Um, my birthday present to myself is that I didn't get in full phase for this, sorry. Uh, but my birthday present to you is that I'm going to try to be a little more concise with my critiques, because I feel like I tend to ramble on, and then the video is like 15 minutes for no reason. So hopefully I can put the same amount of insight into a smaller amount of time, or maybe I fail at that and this is another 12 minute video and you get what you get. First contestant, the letter G. And here it is everyone, G is this competition's resident badass. You went for 90s video girl chic and then you went super sultry, which is so outside of what we would expect from you, every week I've said you raise the bar for yourself, every week you also go outside of expectations. You do something that we didn't see coming. I didn't know you were even wearing a corset, I thought that was a tank top, and I legit gasped when it came undone. If you were uncomfortable in this video, it did not show. You were all sexy, sultry, assertive. It was right. When it's right, it's right. And it was right. Very well done. Loved it. Edie Centric. As usual, you are using every single piece of your body in the sink to let us know that that voice is coming out of your mouth. It is uncanny, the accuracy of your sinks. And it's because it's not just the mouth. It is the twitch of the eyelid. It is the graceful motion of the hand. And this one was especially hard because you were splayed out on a couch, pretending like it's nothing, but being that relaxed and laid back and doing so little and keeping us as an audience invested is really hard. And just when it seemed like maybe it had plateaued, you bring in your family's hands to sort of jazz it up. It was a really smart concept. It was excellently executed. As usual, you are killing it. This was fabulous. Thank you. Pieti Cruz. This was a good song choice for you because it allowed you to really use your theatricality. You have an extremely expressive face and your body language is really broad and exciting. And doing a musical theater song was a great way for you to show that off. I love when you dance and I think that it was great that you didn't pick a dance song. You instead got to tell a story and really sell us that. I liked that you had multiple characters and I thought that going between the two puppets added your sort of signature comedy to it. This was a really strong week for you and I was so glad to see it because I just enjoy you. You have natural charm and that always comes through in your videos. Ko Rook. There were a lot of little details that really sold this video, like that first moment when someone's hand comes out from behind the camera so you can really sell that you are singing to each of us as individuals was great. I think that you had the mood down. I think that your backgrounds were really well thought out and added to it. And I liked the sort of cheesy dude thing you had going on. I think that you captured a lot here. Comedy is really hard and I'm not sure that you nailed every single opportunity for a joke. But with only weeks rehearsal, there's only so much you can do. But that's sort of my thing is like, if you're not 100% in the comedy, be careful about doing a totally comedic song. That said, this was good. Not great, but good. Axel Knight 0717. You wanted to show us your versatility and you went with comedy, which I think was a smart choice because we need to see more than you dancing around. This was a chance for you to portray a character. With that in mind, I'm not sure that you really gave us a new character. Your eyes were closed a lot, so it was hard to see what you were doing. I need to feel the emotion coming out of those eyes. And I think in general, the voice didn't really match your physicality all that well, and that was a challenge for me. You lip synced the words, you got the words down, but they weren't in character, if that makes sense. Also, this was a little short, so... It was fine. Vicule. You're another lip syncer that went in a bold new direction. It seems like this is the point in the competition where we're figuring out how broad people's performance abilities really are. With that in mind, 
I'm not sure that this was the smartest choice for you in terms of concept. I think that it was a good idea in general to do something different, but you have more of a bubbly, effervescent charm, and the darkness was not something that you naturally took to. It felt a little forced, a little fake. You're gonna have to have a really strong acting ability to bring something so different from your usual self to the video. And this didn't get all the way there for me, I'm sorry to say. Holy shtick. This was a weird one for me because when you were on in this video, you were really on. You had that Broadway pizzazz and the costume was really fun, though I think you have to watch out for eyeglasses like that because sunglasses block your eyes and we need to see those to really punch through that performance. When you didn't have the staginess, it fell pretty flat pretty quickly and for a song of this length you really needed to muscle through all the way the whole time. So when you showed your strengths you were really strong but that was only there like half to 75 percent of the time and the rest really didn't go there. So this was good for me. I know you can do better. Ms. Gloria Swan song. Can you hear my neighbors stomping around upstairs? What is that? They can probably hear me doing this. Anyway, your sync. Number one, I love your profile. Number two, this is a theatrical song that you sold. You knew how to milk not only the lyrics, but also those silent moments to really get in there and give us an acting. It was a hair overdone at times, but you're a drag queen, so you should be at least a hair overdone. I had a great time with this. I think that this is what the competition should be. A big performance. Um, I have nothing but nice things to say about this. Calypso Overkill. Look, we all have bad weeks where shit happens and we just do what we can. And this was clearly that for you. I don't know if you have outside stuff going on or if you just legit had no idea what to do for this video, but this was just not up to your usual standard. You're really good and I just didn't get this. Like I... L Sunday. So my previous critiques on green screen are removed this week because I think you applied the technology in a really fun, interesting way. You took it so far over the top, and I think that added a lot to your video. It gave us something to watch and laugh at, and it was a smart application of what can be a hindrance. So well done on using this in the best way that you could. And I think that if you continue to do that, that will be great. That said, I do still worry that your lip sync itself could go farther. There's a lot of comedy in this song that you didn't necessarily nail. Those little jokes about sucking dicks can really be punched in your performance, and I want to see that from you still. So great on the green screen, and solid on the lip sync. Girls, what's my weakness? This video was phenomenal. Phenomenal. From the instant it started, and you had that haunted look in your eyes, and the styling and the projection and the way it all connected with the music. It was empty and creepy and sad all at once and I felt it. It just came over me like a tidal wave. I watched it I think three times in a row just like it was a emotional experience to watch this video. It worked. It just a hundred percent worked. The strongest that you've ever done, easily the strongest this week. Just a home run. I loved it. Okay, so next week is Songs from a Hat, which people often hate or struggle with, both contestants and audience members. I love Songs from a Hat. I think that it is such a fun challenge and a great way to test people's abilities. And I know people think that it's unfair that some people get songs that work for them and others don't, but the truth is that you either make it work or you don't. So everybody, take a page out of Tim Gunn's book and make it work. 
See you next week. And if you didn't make it work, I will let you know.